Hello folks and welcome back. Pillars of Eternity. As always, I'm Falcon, your host. And last time we uh, did some bounties here from our base, from Crab Nua. And we uh, ventured around, we hit Veilwood and Magrand's Fork and then Black Meadow, and then we returned. In addition, um, I don't know if it was specifically last episode or not, but we, we'll, we defended the place, I know that was last episode. And previously, we had returned to, after being to Kleobon Relog, we discovered that the Leaden Key is responsible for the hollowing, and we returned to Defiance Bay and reported that in. However, events progressed, and the Leaden Key struck and killed the Duke, the leader of Defiance Bay, and the place has erupted basically into complete and utter chaos. Um... Then we came up here and dealt with our base, some stuff here. This time, I want to do something a little different. We're gonna go venture down into the, uh, into the under... Into the underdark. <laughs> Essentially. Now, I've messed around with my, uh, team a little bit here. Um... And we swapped out, just for the time being... We swapped out some different people. Uh, and we're gonna go, yeah, we're gonna go down here to the Endless Paths, and we're gonna explore some of the Endless Paths a little bit. Now, we are supposed to have Kana with us when we do this. Kana's presently off doing his own thing. He's on a mission. Um, had I really thought about it, I would not have sent him on the mission ahead of time, but uh, I did that last episode before I really had determined what I wanted to do. Now, there's some very interesting conversations that you can have with Aeloth and the Grieving Mother. Conversations which I accidentally had off camera with them. Um, didn't really realize how important the conversations were going to be until I was in the midst of them, but then at that point, uh, you'd already missed everything, basically, of any real importance. So, unfortunately, kinda have to go with it as is. Now, um, having said that, it's some interesting, pretty cool stuff. Um, oh, turns out, Aloth was actually, or Loth, or whatever the hell you say his name, was actually working for the Leaden Key. He's actually an Leaden Key agent. He's a bad guy. Or, but he's unwittingly a bad guy. He, had no, he did not realize how... He did not realize the kind of people the Leaden Key were. So while yes, he was working for them, I forgave him that because he's not... He wasn't doing it intentionally. He didn't realize that they were what they are. Um, he basically apologized to oh. us, he admitted it. You know, yes, I was do working with them, and yes, you know, I realize how bad this is. And I'm sorry. And what you want to do at that point, you know, he basically says, you know, I'm willing to, you know, accept whatever you decide. Uh, the other thing, and I basically, you know, told him that's fine, you know, I understand you were duped and so on and so forth, and I let him stay. Now, the other thing... Well, you get lots of sunbeams. Sunbeam for days. <laughs> um, the other thing... Let's use the little hearing. Hmm. Was uh, the Grieving Mother. Uh, we talked to her, and she's of course a cipher, just like I am. And turns out she was using her cipher abilities. She, she thought she was a watcher. What I am, that other thing that I am. And she didn't realize that... Um, she didn't, she didn't know the difference, basically. And she was using her abilities, very similar actually to a Watcher would use them in some ways, only the Watcher generally deals more with the dead and, uh, you know, past experiences for people. Whereas obviously Cyphers deal with more direct, you know, now and the future type stuff. Um, where are we? Well, hi there. I'll take a look. Which was interesting. 
Um, I shall. And turns out she was, well, a grieving mother. She was a midwife, essentially. And she used her powers to help usher in children. And mm -hmm. she also used her powers to Our actually change the way that people think about their kids. Um, she used it to actually alter their opinions about their children. Which is... interesting, to say the least. Very interesting. So... Point for the duration. See, I, I'm trying to decide... Let's get you into the I, front. I shall. Okay, now, see, we have his various special, or his uh, level one things here he can use as often as we, he wants now. But I want to actually take advantage of this, and I want to start out this fight with a good spell. And then I'm going to follow it up immediately with, we're going to dominate the hell out of everybody in this in this room, pretty much. We are just going to mind crush all of these people in the room, basically. Um, which I'm hoping is going to do some serious damage. Your thoughts. Uh um. Sunrock. <coughs> Boom! Explode your face! Two grazes, two hits, one crit. Ooh, you're paralyzed. Interesting. Hmm. Well, you're yourself. You 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 just exploded there, buddy. So get out of here with yourself, because you basically just detonated like a damn bomb, <laughs> which is hilarious to me. Okay, so activate that. This is a new ability that she has. It uh, lowers her attack and reload rate, so she uh, basically attacks slower. But she does... is more likely to hit and does more damage when she does hit. Which I think is pretty awesome and I think well worth the slight reduction in combat or in uh, damage capability. Okay, and as for you... Let's have you pound down this. See, the thing is, we can sh we can shell out a hell of a lot more spells now than we used to be able to, because we no longer have to worry about, um, we really no longer have to worry about regular, uh, you know, spell limits with some of his spells there, so I can actually ch turn out a lot higher damage capability with the mages than we used to be able to. Which is really cool. I like that that's a thing. Certainly. If secrets and it kind of makes sense. Here, I, I mean, the listen. more powerful you get, the more spells you know, easier casting spells will become. What have we here? And, oh. Oh. And eventually... It's done. You should be able to get to the point that, you know, low-level early spells are not exactly difficult for you. You can just kind of throw those out left and right without mm -hmm. any real significant problems. And I like that they mm -hmm. actually added mm -hmm. that basically as a thing. I think that's cool. Now, what happens if we just Your use this on him? If we just nail you with this, what happens? Precisely. In 
indeed. Okay, you basically just explode. So this is, for all intents and purposes, you died. You d you die now. <laughs> this has to be broken. Like, that has yes. to be... That can't actually be how that's supposed to work. I shall be discreet. There's no way. Because it's it's too powerful. Oh. Like way too powerful. We're not talking like, oh, you know, you it's you, done. you know. No. That's that is way too powerful. There is no way in hell hey. that, that is how that spell is supposed to work. Alright then. How may I help? Because that is basically oh, look, a single enemy that I don't like. You know what? Fuck you. And they just explode. <laughs> Like, they just instantly die. There's no way that that is how that's supposed to be. No way. It's hilarious, but there's no way that that's how it's supposed to be. I can't believe that that is how it's supposed to be. What's the uh, range on this? Or do you have to be touching them for that to work? Well, that's not very good. Ah, thick for sun. See, like this champion now? He, he's dead. He is about to die. That's just all there is to it. He is about to explode. No. Nice. Burn and ate everything. That's it. Like this worm? You annoy me. You are now going to die now. Actually, no, I have a better idea. I want to see what happens if we use this. So let's use that on him. And everybody but her attack the skirmisher. Okay. What the hell are you doing? You just sat there while we killed it. It is dead already. I don't know what you think you're doing there, friend, but the thing what is already dead. Here? There's no point in you messing with it because it's already yes. dead. I don't know. I'm a little confused by that. And I think the game's kind of a little confused by that too. Indeed. Oh, what's this? Right. Ancient legends. Lore plus something. Okay then. Oh. Alright, so the Blade of the Endless Paths. Sting. I'm on the trail. I assume this is some sort of like super sword. Mm -hmm. Something. One would hope. Edit something super impressive. What was this? What about this dude? Mm hmm. Darf is lying in a corner of the chamber. Its ribs show starkly beneath its scaly high, and its breathing is labored, each whistling breath causing obvious discomfort. This one's ill. See how dull the eyes are. Doesn't seem to be reacting to your presence. Examine. Look the creature over. There's a strange discoloration in its skin in several places, but you cannot see anything that would inform you of what ails it. Let's just leave it alone. Let's not mess Certainly. with it. Oh, what just happened? Okay. I'm not actually completely sure what just happened. I'm going to attack the world for a second. 
please. I would like to be dominated for a second, but apparently the domination didn't continue. And the domination did not. They shall see nothing while I see much. Didn't completely work. From the looks of things. I. Okay, well, let's get you out in the front here. Kinda wanna use... Alright, first use that. Go down one of these. And explode this guy's face. Yes. Ah! Uh oh, no. Explode... That guy's face, actually. See, that's just instantaneous, you just die. You died. It's basically what just happens there. I, I don't... There's no way that that is how that's supposed to work. One graze, two hits. There is no way that that is how that's actually supposed to operate. Because that is way the hell too powerful. I, shall. I mean, that's basically just, you know, he looked at me funny and died. Now. Basically what that is. Like, there's... that should not... it's not a thing. Should not be a thing anyway. Maybe it is a thing, but it really shouldn't be. Because it is way, way the hell too powerful. The way that seems to work. Like, I mean, I. Maybe, you know, maybe I'm wrong. Maybe it's just. Maybe that's precisely how it's supposed to work, but. If it is, holy shit. <laughs> Sharp eyes and keen ears. Because, seriously. Eleven inside Against the inside of its broken shell is a tiny white shape. Only when a tiny tooth model opens to let out a frightened squeak is it clear that this is a small worm recently hatched. Get up. Tiny white worm. Oop, oop, no, no. Where's I? There we go. It's a pet? It is! Wanna see. Wanna see my tiny pet worm pet. Hey, he flies around with me. That's kinda cool. Leathery but brittle. Most of them have been trampled into a fine dust stamped with tiny claws. What have we here? Oh. This. Club. And the camping supplies, which I can't presently use. What is this? Why is this showing up? Oh, artifice is all constructed. Nice. Okay. Uh, so that leaves me with only one thing, I think, at this point that still does anything. Or did I build it already? Maybe I built it already. Looks like I did build it already. Okay. Well, in that case, let's get... Forum. Alright, there's the way down. Ah, eh, screw you guys. Yeah, I'm just gonna blow one of you up, so... One of you is just going to explode now. How much do these take? See, they take 30, so it doesn't take her long to be able to use the skill. Now, see, did this hit? It did, because it interrupted Gwen for Gwen. Worm burns. See, it did hit her, 
I just don't know how much damage it did. Can't tell how much damage it actually did. But it definitely, like, unquestionably, Indeed. it hit her. And did some serious damage when it did. Oh, watch out. Oh, you bloody idiot. Oh my god, you're oh. stupid. Hmm? Hmm? To whispers and shadows. And and he. Yeah, I keep hitting that. What the hell am I even hitting? Oh, I'm not even close to where I'm trying to hit. That's why. Unique medium armor. It's fine. Loyal. Defense against charm stuff. Nice. Uh. Uh, it's not bad. Pretty cool. Most importantly, it actually looks pretty neat too. Or at least looks different. And maybe I shouldn't go so far and say it actually looks neat. This looks very different. So... Okay. What does this one have? Defiant... Or damage reduction when under... Elf. Oh, that's actually pretty good. Uh, I think that goes there. So this rolled up piece of parchment is covered in smears... In smeared charcoal scrawls. Let me get it down and right in. I know this is a shit plan for the start. Merrick Gleeful's a toddler convinced we were going to attack talk the Zarps into helping us fill our pockets, help Andras right into a great big pit, more like. And now you've all run off like hares. Meanwhile, here's me, up to my armpits and bones and Zarp shit. Hope you all rot down here. I hope Merrick trips right off the edge of the world and draft and loses what's left of his wits and guts the rest of you. Five of us left and you run. Curse each and every one of you. And curse me too for dying here on account of a bunch of muling piss spots. Here's one of... Here's for when one of you rotten lizard bastards learns some Adirin. I hope you all fucking choke. <laughs> he seems somewhat displeased with his former companions. Don't need to have all these traps in my inventory. Highly doubt I will ever use them. You don't need these in my inventory either because you actually use them out of the... You will actually use them out of the... Uh, Thing here, so there's no sense in keeping all of those there. Uh, that matter, there's really no sense in keeping the pets in my inventory, but I'm probably gonna do it anyway, just because. What all do we have now? That's all of them. So we've got our miniature space piglet, tiny animat, of course a kitty, a piglet, just a regular piglet, a worm. Pretty cool. Yes. If secrets whisper here, I shall- Yes. Hi. Totally didn't see hey. you all there. Oh, really? Really didn't. Where? Oh. Totally didn't see you there. It's okay, though, because... I'm going to teach you guys... A lesson you are not gonna forget. Yeah. Oh, that was a quick, quickly cast thing. <laughs> Double spear spell. Get wrecked. <laughs> Bye -bye. I think two, uh, 
I have come to this conclusion that two ciphers is are ridiculously powerful. If secrets whisper here, yes. Possibly a little bit OP. I shall. Actually, more like a lot OP. We're not talking like a little OP here. We're talking like holy crap! What the? What do you What do you think you're doing? Kind of OP. Also, um, have you now seen how that works? Uh, where is it? And huh. Let's see, um, style. Having seen how it works now, I actually really want greater focus. Here we go. Because look at the uh, difference in maximum stuff that she that we have. She has thirty-seven. Your thoughts must flow deeply and deep. So it actually gives not only greater maximum, but more to start with. And that 10 yes. additional lets her cast start out with Your casting these upgraded spells, yes. which I cannot do, I which shall. is huge, 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 huge. Oh, what the hell is going on here? Uh, hey. Hmm. Hmm. Oh, I have been spotted. -ed. Well, apparently they don't care. Hey. Oh. Oh, they care now. Shouldn't have, uh, decloaked. Stepping into this chamber, you're assailed by a cacophony of screeches, growls, and barks. Blood spattered Zarps dance in frenetic, leaping motions. To one side, a Zarp plunges his hands into a bucket teeming with blood to daub patterns on the others eager to join the rites. At the far end of the room, one Zarp, wearing the lawn skull of a young drake in vibrant feathers, shakes the staff towards the gathered Zarp, screeching and clicking. The high priest suddenly raises the staff above his head, shrieking with renewed vigor. He swings the, st the staff downward to point it at the pit, and then at you. I don't think I like that suggestion. No kidding. I'm going to be to notice. I, I know I don't like that suggestion. Terrible suggestion. At you? Yeah, no, no, no. Go attack that guy. Over there, hold that line. Self here. Self there. Put you there. Put you there. I? Oh, what the hell just happened? Hey, excuse me. Hmm? <laughs> oh, God! <laughs> Alright, prepare to get wrecked, dudes. Prepare to totally get wrecked. Alright, so pain block. All enemies within. So do that one of those, do that. Let's uh, hammer them with one of these. We can. Oh, shit. Messed up. Hammer them with one of those. You're doing your thing already. Let's get you up here. Just zapped you guys. That just wiped out everybody. That was pretty cool. It just wrecked everybody in the in the whole room, pretty much. Okay. Um. We can cast these all we want. Uh. Are any of these... Alright, doesn't look like it. None of those are combat spells, from the looks of things. It's perfectly fine. <laughs> Don't need them to be combat spells, necessarily. Oh, 
Okay, let's get some healing down because they're getting my butts kicked over there. Some more healing down because, again, butts kicked. Yeah, roll down one of those. Don't think this guy will live very long with everybody attacking him. She's already back up to full capability. Alright, she'll, she'll kill that guy when she gets over there and cast that spell. So, you're asking this. What the hell are you? Yes. There's only death upon the endless paths. Turn back. Be a coward cast we cannot stop Indeed. now. What did that say? Many have died. Excuse me? Excuse. The bucket is filled with blood and gives off an acrid stench. You recognize it as Maka's tears, a powerful poison. What spilled into this bucket seems to have eaten from the into the stone. The rope tied under the bucket looks long enough to descend into the pit. You hear the whistling howl of wind, and from time to time a hot gust of air tug at your clothing. Salmon! It's very deep, but you cannot see the bottom gauge the distance. Jump into the pit! That sounds like a terrible idea. Tied to the bucket looks long enough to descend into the pit. So is there an option to use the rope? And the bucket. Apparently not. Oops. Yes. Did not mean to expand that. Not that there's anything wrong with expanding that, just didn't mean to do it. I shall. Point the way. Oh. Mr. Dude. Yes. Okay, so there's the pit there, and there's also stairs over here. So I wonder... Sacrificial pit and stairs. I wonder which way we're supposed to go. I really want to get Kana back. I am kind of tempted to use... Where, is there something we can do with this Zara? Still see how dolls. Hmm. Um. Can we heal it? Moe Ixi Ana. If we can, I don't know. All right, well... Um, unfortunately, folks, this is going to be the end of the episode. I kind of wanted to get a little bit further than this, but I took a little too long at the beginning, I think, messing around. Um, I may... In fact, no may. I probably will wait until Kana is available, and I might swap him out for... Oh, I don't even know. I don't really know, because I kind of want to... I like all the people that we have right now. Having the two ciphers is... a little ridiculous, frankly. Because these two can do some stupid indeed. damage with their spells. So, I don't really know... if I want to get rid of her or not. If anybody, I might probably get rid of her all off. Probably. I don't really need him along. Not really. 
So I'll probably, if I get rid of anybody, it would probably be, would be him. Uh... Oops. Terminal Twin Helms. There we go. Dream and Memory. One of her past. Yeah, here, here we go. The memory involved a birthing, a place known as the Birthing Bell. Great significance. She was a bit midwife there. Midwife there, and she used to read the souls of unborn children. However, she admitted that such readings were often fabricated based on what the expectant mother wanted to hear. She clearly thought she was doing these women and their children a service, but she wasn't inclined to discuss the matter further at this moment. Perhaps she'll open up more as our journey continues. So, we need Pelagina when we go to Twin Elms. No idea where the hell this is even supposed to be at, so I think until I figure out where that's supposed to be, I don't necessarily need her. Of course, that's this. Yeah, see, we want him along, though. Miles of Durance. Uh, I think... Nothing can be reforged if we can find pieces of the sword. Anyway, um, I think... I don't even know where... Hmm... Yeah, I don't even know where, uh... I don't even know where the quests for some of these other people are. I don't see quests for Adir anymore. I don't see the quests for any of the other yes. people. So, I don't know. I don't know what the deal with those is. Anyway, uh, I will see you next time. Thanks for watching, folks. This has been Pillars of Eternity. I, of course, have been Falcon, your host, and I will see you next time. Take it easy, have a good day, and bye-bye. Uh,